All right, so I'm going to do King's Cross real quick. Um, I'm not going to show you how I set up the spine for it. You can look at that in uh, one of the videos on Lisbon uh, where we set up the spine. Basically, got a reference line going straight up with points hosted on it, and then hosted on those points are circles, and then we've divided those circles. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to come into my point. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this vertical reference plane is set current and I'm going to go ahead and place points on each one of these circles one where they've got nodes so I'm just overlapping those points then once I have those points I can come in and select those points right and I'll hold down the control key to select these guys and once I have all those points selected I can come into spline through points and it'll just make a spline through those points for me. And let's double check and see if the the points are going to react to the circle, the circles. Well, that's the divide. Let me tab select to get to the circle, and we'll change that to to seventy. Let's see. Yeah, so see those points will now just move in and out with those. I haven't put any parameters on the radiuses of these circles, but or the radii of these circles, but you can learn how to do that, um, as I said in the previous one. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm going to go ahead and change it to a reference line because I prefer to work with reference lines when I can. Um, so I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to hold down the Control key and select that center axis, and I'm going to go to Create Form right so basically I just figured out the area the section that I wanted and put some circles in there and placed points on them now um, this has worked out fine but it did the whole thing and I would prefer to only have part of it so I'm gonna pick that form and I'm gonna come in here and type 180 okay and so it cuts that in half not necessarily the way I want but nevertheless there it is now what you can do is pick this form, if I can get it, and divide that surface. And it divides it and grids it out. Now, I think this is at a 45 degree angle. And just keep in mind, we're approximating this. So this is not an exact replica. What you're trying to do is really understand, hopefully, how this guy is made and how structure gets distributed across it in a general way. So I'm going to come in here and type 20, whoops, that's a bit much, not 42, although it did it for sure. Um, I'm just going to type 24 and 24. Oh, still getting my 42 in there, 24. All right, so now I've got this divided surface. Now you can take a very simple three-point um, adaptive component and place it on here. So if I expand my families, go to my generic models, I've got a three-point tube. If I edit that, it just has three points and a tube. Nothing fancy. No. Now if I come out here to the edge of this guy, I can come in and uh, we need to turn the nodes on first, so I need to pick that divided surface and under surface representation is a little flyout arrow and you can turn your nodes on okay so we need those nodes to snap to so then I can come over here and pull out this three point and go one two whoop three and then I don't want to place anymore so I'm just going to go to modify then I can pick that and I can come up to my modify and do the parametric array repeat and you will see that it repeats that across almost the entire thing now when these get complex they get a little difficult so if you can select that divide right it'll give you a few options like border tile partial you can try to come in and do overhanging and see if it'll clean itself up but sometimes when it's complex it just can't do it what you can do if you really want to is you can come in and finish kind of these ends off by snapping you know if you want to do that I know it's a bit of a pain 
but you know sometimes the world's not easy and then one thing you can also do and I don't know if I mentioned this is I can come and place a point right on that line and then if I pick that point set that as current go ahead and see if I can zoom around a little bit so I can actually see it better so if I pick that point I can then draw and for sake of speed I'm going to draw a circle reference circle and I'm going to pick that point and just draw it out three feet now you should be able to pick this and then hopefully we need to tab select past the divide and pick the circle right and then pick that then you can create form and it'll sweep that all the way around unfortunately it's doing it for the complete piece which is a little sad but we can do a subtract if we want to but that's a little bit of a pain um, you could split the circle in half and it would it would do that as well it might be possible to turn the surface back on and actually get the edge of the surface um, so you could try that but um, so that's sort of the method for getting King's Crossing.